I'm Jörg Richen from ETH Zurich. I'm interested in animal communications. And here we are at the public bath of Lake Zurich, Seebad Enge, and we deploy a cable in the lake to test the performance for acoustic sensing. So this morning we uh, deployed the cable in the lake of Zurich. It's one kilometer long. And we, uh, we had a special pass that we figured out before. So the cable is a little bit heavier than water, so it will sink softly to the ground. And so we made a, a loop and then we have a crossing of the cable of itself. Then we also built in the cable some special tricks. For example, we had a, a winding, a three-dimensional winding that uh, forms a three-dimensional structure that should help us to detect the direction of arrival of a sound wave. And then also we made a 10 meter long section where the cable runs uh, force and, and back uh, 10 times, such that we have uh, several channels at the same position that we can then also used to detect the signal-to-noise ratio. We want to test if we can record acoustic signals, and especially we are interested in the acoustic communication of uh, killer whales in the wild, or also other dolphins and whales. Yes, of course, there is no whales in the Lake of Zurich, but we have an underwater loudspeaker, and we can play back some recordings that we did in uh, northern Norway last year. Basically, we are interested in the acoustic communication of, uh, for example, killer whales. These animals are one of the most intelligent animals on this planet and they have a very sophisticated communication system and we don't know much about it. One approach is to record what they are saying or, or singing, but we need to know every single animal what, is, what signals it emits. We want to test here a new device, this fiber optic cable, to do a source separation system such that we can um, pinpoint the source on every orca. Uh, what we want to test here is to see uh, to which frequency such a fiber optic cable can detect acoustic signals in the water. And furthermore, we are interested in uh, directionality, so on on which angle the acoustic wave has to hit the fiber to optimally detect it. And then, of course, it's also a question of uh, signal to noise. So we want to see how low the signal can be that we still can detect it. And if it works fine, we will bring this uh, system to northern Norway and record there in the fjords in the winter months.